Let's get some analysis from my guest, Helin Sari Ertem, Associate Professor of International Relations at uh, Istanbul Medinyet University. And uh, Professor, the question I was putting to you earlier, it, uh, for me, this is a remarkable situation that you have a, a president who's, who he and uh, all of his compatriots fighting for the very survival of their, their nation. And he's having to take out time to discuss a grain deal. How significant is this for him? Well, since the very beginning, uh, we've been following the crisis in Ukraine. And uh, again, we have to express that Turkey has been uh, one of the most uh, significant actors uh, which are trying, which have been trying to solve the problem uh, rather than turning into a kind of bigger crisis in the region. Because this is not only a war between Ukraine and Russia, it's, a, it's some kind of a war in the region, which affects the whole region, including Turkey as well, and also regarding the grain deal, regarding the, uh, the food security aspect, it also uh, affects uh, the poor countries, third world countries as well, uh, and as well as uh, European countries, uh, as we all have been discussing that Ukraine and Russia, they are the uh, breadbaskets of Europe. And since the very beginning, Turkey has been a very a important actor to uh, which which also try to open the path or at least keep the path open uh, from Ukraine from Russia to the other countries. As uh, we all know that Russia has been uh, witnessing some kind of uh, facing some kind of uh, embargoes, but Ukraine is very significant because Ukraine economy Ukraine's economy is also dependent on this grain uh, uh, supply. Let's say. And this is very important, especially for the countries in Africa. Uh, we all remember that there has been a huge discussion between uh, Russia and European countries, uh, between the United States and Russia as well. As Putin uh, claimed for a long time that the grain, most of the, the majority of the grain is actually going to the European countries rather than uh, those countries who are in need. Uh, but uh, as Turkey has been pushing so hard to keep the route open, uh, uh, President Erdogan uh, also uh, has to, or he he wants to keep the path open uh, for for the third world countries especially. And uh, for many times we have witnessed that there have been prolongation of the uh, settlement, the, the agreement between Ukraine and um, uh, Russia. Uh, although they are not coming uh, face to face at the same table, Turkey has been mediating in between them to. Uh, prolong the uh, duration of the grain deal. And um, we Professor, have sorry to interrupt you. I, I, I'm curious, uh, you talk about that Turkey has been pushing to, to broker yeah. this deal. Uh, the countries who are receiving the grain will be very grateful for that. But I'm just wondering, what does President Erdogan get out of that? Why is he looking to um, make such a, a significant role for himself? How does that assist his country? Is, is this about him getting a name as a, a negotiator? Does it give some kind of uh, leverage when it comes to geopolitics? How does, how does he benefit well, personally and how does the country benefit? Well, exactly. I don't see that this is something very personal. Of course, President Erdogan has an image, has a, a mediator uh, image uh, in the region, uh, and he has been famous about that. And he has a strong say on both countries. It's a very difficult position and a very delicate position for Turkey to play the mediator, to be the mediator between these two countries. Turkey is a significant NATO uh, ally, NATO member. And at the same time, it has to keep the dialogue open with Russia. And it's also a very significant partner of Russia. Uh, and in terms of this situation, I think it's, it has a unique position in the region. Because Europe needs Turkey, in my point of view. Europe needs Erdogan in order to keep the diplomatic route open with Russia, uh, rather than uh, having no diplomatic relations at all, Turkey has been playing this very significant role of keeping this diplomatic, diplomatic line open between Russia and European countries and uh, the United States. Although United States most of the time says that, well, uh, actually, we don't have any mediator, I think this is just a sentence, a simple sentence, but at the same time, they all know that they need a mediator to sometimes to calm down Putin, because Putin is a leader that we don't know who, what will be the next step of him. Uh, for that reason, I think President Erdogan's personal relations with Putin 
and uh, his, um, uh, his um, let's say, effort to give Turkey a kind of a strength in terms of niche diplomacy, which is a humanitarian uh, efforts, humanitarian diplomacy. And uh, in terms of humanitarian diplomacy perspective, I think the grain, is, the grain deal is the most important thing in the last couple of months. Okay, it's going to be uh, interesting discussions taking place this evening in Istanbul. Appreciate your uh, input there. Helen Sariatem, Associate Professor of International Relations at Istanbul Medeniyet University. Thank you. Thank you.